Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is looking great so far. Looking great. I do have a couple of recommendations and comments. So the first thing I want to point to is what's required for this this particular assignment. So what we have here is this. We have um, Let me see here, where are we? Oh, let, let's talk about the requirements. So what I want you to do is I want you to jump over and take a look in your, your messages. I messaged everyone about this and I also created a dedicated announcement for clarifications on week seven discussion requirements. Basically what you wanna do is jump over here to week seven assignment infographic poster part three in, in progress page. Take a look at the assignment requirements here because this discussion is directly related to this assignment, right? So, so what you wanna do is you wanna kinda just, just take a look at the video. I describe things to a, to a very high degree in the video. So you want to reassemble here. What we were after here is looking at each individual infographic individually for the, the merits of success therein, as opposed to looking at the entire compilation where we'll probably miss some things that we could possibly uh, identify looking at each individual infographic. So let's go ahead and, and recompose and resubmit. But let's go ahead and take a look at the piece itself because I do have a couple of recommendations for you moving forward. Now the one thing I'm seeing here is that we've got this background and we've got each of the infographics. By the way, I'm, I'm, I don't want to sound like this, but I just want to mention something that each of these should be individual. These should be your graphics. Are they? Did you design these yourself? And if not, I highly recommend that you do. Um, so if the, we don't want found images at all. And, and I'm not saying you didn't design them. I'm just trying to say that that you, we want to make sure that this is 100% original. Now imagine this scenario: you're sitting in a in a um, interview, and you have the, uh, the 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 hiring professional across the desk from you, and he gets to this piece, and he says, "Okay," or he, I should say, he or she says, um, "Okay, Craig, this is interesting. Um, are these original graphics?" And I'm not, as again, I, I, again, I'm not saying they are or aren't. I'm just giving a hypothetical scenario. So, and you say, no, that's a found graphic. And all of a sudden, it's your, the credibility is going to be gone. Okay, so you want to make sure that we have 100% original graphics in this. Okay, now, a couple of recommendations. Um, the, this is interesting, very interesting typographic composition for the title area, but I would give it more room. Um, also, you've got this, this each individual piece. I, my concern is that by placing things in boxes, um, you're creating a degree of separation from the, uh, the, 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 the visual plane, the picture plane, the actual piece itself. So I'm wondering if we present these just free floating without being bound in these boxes, I think it might have a more of a symbiotic relationship with the with the, the background, the whole composition, living and breathing and behaving as one entity, as opposed to have here's a background and then here's something on it, here's something pasted on it, here's something pasted on it, here's something pasted on it. We want this to be a symbiotic relationship as opposed to a series of individual elements placed on a common background. Does that make sense? If not, let me know because it's a pretty darn important concept, not only in this project, but in, in graphic design. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to break it down. Let's get each one of these individually on a page, describe it, and, uh, and we'll take a look at the success of the individual infographics as they relate to the entire composition. Okay, all right, uh, good job, Greg, good, good start. Um, um, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Thank you very much.